It's a great tribute to all of us here on this stage and all the activists and campaigners in this room that we had the biggest turnout in this constituency for 25 years. And across the country, we've seen so many people who would not normally vote making the effort to vote today. Whether it's 18-year-olds who are voting for the first time or people in later life who've given up on politics many years ago, the voters who never turned up, turned up today. And they made sure that their voices were heard. And with the rest of the people of Britain, they said two things, and they said them loud and clear. The first was to Theresa May, that she was 20 points clear in the polls, she was eyeing up a record of majority, she, ought, she wanted to go out and destroy the opposition, she thought that she could get a mandate to do whatever she liked with Brexit and to starve our hospitals and our schools of cash to impose a dementia tax and remove the winter fuel allowances, to carry on with yet more pain and yet more austerity. But the British people said one simple thing in response. They said no. They said, no, Mrs. May, you can't have your mandate and you should never take us for granted. But they also said, give us something to say yes to. And that's what Labour did in this election, because the star of our show was our manifesto. And in that, people saw things that would transform their lives and transform their communities. A positive vision of how Britain can become a better place and they knew that we meant it. And the reason they knew that we meant it, well, it's because of the other star of our show, who you may be hearing from later on this evening. And because he's too modest to sing his own praises or let others sing his praises for him, I will only say this about my good friend, Jeremy Corbyn. I cannot remember a politician in recent history who has had to put up with so much people lying about his beliefs, attacking his character, traducing his record day in and day out, and throughout that he has stood strong through it all. He has stuck to his principles and his way of doing things, and he's accepted all the pressure and all the challenges of his job with such good grace. If anyone has been strong and stable in this campaign, it's got to be Jeremy Corbyn. And if, and if all of this was an audition to be Prime Minister, which it still may prove to be, then Jeremy Corbyn has passed with flying colours. <laughs>